gentlemen, we're back here with the 826. Been a couple weeks here. Sometimes I get a little carried away and go out to the flying field and like to record everything else. But we're back here on the 826. So we left off for us with the elevator and the rudder section. So I have my 475 servos for the elevator and the 425 for the rudder area. And here are the push rods for the elevator section. And as you last remember in video 5, we already installed the pool pool system for the rudder area. So we're going to go ahead and install these servos inside the airframe here and move on and uh, get a test of how the elevator and the rudder area moves. So let's move on. Okay, so I've got the servos installed for the rudder area. Then we have here, which will be for the rudder. And this will be for the elevator. Looks like this side's going to have pull pull wire going to the steering and going to the elevator. I mean the rudder. So the pull pull cables will hook here. But I think I might change the design for the steering and run a separate servo and build my own servo tray somewhere in this area right here. One thing I did find was that the tray here it has a little play in it so you can see that it's a little movement there so I've already added some 15 minute epoxy that I'm just gonna go ahead and dip in here for my own security just to make sure I know that's connected there it's a little epoxy in the corners there And make sure that that tray is locked in there. Do the same thing here on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And we'll come back and I'll have everything hooked up and we'll give it a test. Okay, so you guys, I'm back here. The epoxy I've laid has cured. As you can see, I have the elevator section hooked up here, which are displayed here. I have the pool pool section hooked up. I have my receiver inside here that's live right now, so let me give you guys a quick example of how that area is moving. And the elevators are controlled here with a servo reverser for one of the servos to follow the direction of the other side, so they both move the same way here. So now I'm going to go back and get you guys a bigger picture and show you the elevator and the rudder section moving. Okay guys, so we're back here. So I've got the servos installed as I just showed you in the last close-up video. So this is how everything's moving. Got the elevator. Got that moving. We have the rudder. I still have some minor adjustments to do on this area, but they are installed. The epoxy is dry in here. We are uh, going to start messing around with the cockpit. First, I'm going to search around online and see if I can find some scale pilots that will fit inside here. I ought to make it pretty interesting. Then, uh, retracts, we need motors, we need ESC. So, let's look for the next part and see what I'll be doing next. Most likely, I'll be starting to assemble the, the cockpit area. Look for that in video seven. 